Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again, depends upon when you guys are tuning in, and I do appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate the comments that have come in thus far. Thank you so very much for sharing with us. You know, just keep those comments coming. Let's encourage one, one another and just keep each other on track. Uh, this is a review of October 6th. Uh, the food that I had yesterday was a 32-ounce green smoothie with an apple, banana, spinach, flax chai, L-glutamine water, as well as my daily vitamins. Uh, a little later, I had the Triscuits and the Farmer's Cheese for a snack. Again, if you haven't... Uh, if you haven't tried it, it's really good. It reminds me a lot of a white cheddar that it just says farmer's cheese on it. It's really, really good. Uh, but I had that with 33 ounces of water. A little later, I had 6 ounces of water with the Spark Vitamins. For lunch, again, we were out and about running some errands, trying to get some things settled and, and finished up. Uh, currently, life is just crazy. What can I say? Uh, so I had a 6-inch tuna sub on wheat spread, uh, provolone cheese, spinach, cucumber, pickles, black olives, onions, honey mustard, a 20-ounce water bottle, and I did share a two-pack of cookies with my friend. <laughs> they had one. I had the other. Um, later that day, I had a... I know. See, but I used to do this all the time, like three, four, five, six times. Actually, I would reach for the sweets more than I would reach for the food. So I am doing better, but I am just keeping it real. So yesterday I had a sliver of apple pie with a scoop of ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. It was good. I probably shouldn't have eaten it, but it was good. <laughs> Again, I'm just keeping this real, guys, and if in doing all this helps myself as far as keeping myself accountable, but it also lets me know that, I mean, I'm still losing the weight with the exercises and the proper vitamins and uh, nutrition, but we can spoil ourselves once in a while if you're the person who can spoil yourself without getting addicted. My issue, what I have to watch, is I do have a sugar addiction, and I am aware of that, and I and I, I do my best to stay conscious of that all the time, even though today was not a not-so-good day. Because after that, I had 16 ounces of water, then I had a, pe a peanut butter and triple berry sandwich on Italian bread, with five double stuffed Oreo cookies and a glass of milk. But before bed, I had eight ounces of water with probiotics because I knew everything I had eaten that day would catch up with me overnight. So I took my probiotics before I went to bed. So, let us review where I was and what I was doing and why I was such a bad girl while I was out eating. So, uh, yesterday, uh, I had a yard sale. I went over to a friend's house. They were having a neighborhood yard sale. She's like, bring your stuff over. Let's have a yard sale. Hang out together. Um, so, we did that. Uh, I didn't get to jam to my tunes like I usually do. I think I've told you guys in previous videos that I can, I'll can, i turn those tunes on for up to two hours and just dance around and, and just have a great time while doing dishes, laundry, cleaning house, whatever it is I happen to be doing. Um, but anyway, uh, I didn't get to do that, but I did get, uh, when we were sitting outside, I did make sure I had plenty of water, and that's where all the different water comes in, and I had actually packed the snacks, the Triscuits and the cheese, um, and, uh, plenty of water bottles, so, um, we, we had a good time. Didn't make a lot of money, but that's okay, we got to hang out and just, you know, do some girl things, spend some girl time together, it was awesome. Um... But then it was, like I said, last night is where, where, it, where it sunk in what I had done through the day. And, and it, was just, it, it was just out of stress. Just out of stress. And I'm doing my best to cut it as much as possible. But sometimes life just really gets in the way. And I can relate. So if you are going through that at this moment in time, I, I can relate. 
feel free to leave comments because I, I can truly relate to those people that go, oh, just get over it and move past it and, and do this or do that or, you know, yes, it is a choice to be positive. That I will give you that. But there are just some things in life that really wear you down, especially if you're already tired. And that's what I enjoy about this program because he, he does, where he talks about that schmeck, you know, keeping everything in check, keeping your sleeping habits in check, your eating habits in check, your metabolism in check, just keeping it in check. But again, we do live in a real world. Okay? So, last night is when I caught myself out of the stress reaching for the five double stuff Oreos. Uh, and it was after five of them when I when I basically told myself, what the heck are you doing? You just weighed in at 194 pounds yesterday morning. Why are you reaching for the sweets? So again, this, this is where, well, this is a, a weight loss thing for all of us. We're doing our best to get the weight off and to keep it off. You know, these videos and being accountable and making these notes that I make and, and, and recording the videos the next day or even that evening, whichever it is I happen to get to it, it's accountability. And that's what I think a lot of us are lacking is accountability. So prayerfully, these videos are accountability to you, for you, and they help you and encourage you to keep going. Because I know as I go back and I review them that I am encouraged daily. Um, so anyway, so when I noticed that, it, it brought to my attention is what outside influences do you have currently going on in your life right now? What are those out, outside influences influencing you to do? In my case, uh, most of the time, mine is, okay, we're out and about, we're running errands, uh, I got to grab some quick food, so drive through McDonald's, Wendy's, Subway, Subway is probably a better option, Chick-fil-A, probably a little better option as well, but what is it that you reach for, what is it you grab, do you stop at the convenience store, do you grab the soda and the bag of chips, do you reach for the candy bar, I, I don't know, you know these things, I only know about me, and what I know is, is I'm not the only one who falls when it comes to stress, uh, I should have definitely reached for some more cheese and some Triscuits, and not for the cookies, uh, but sometimes, you know, we just feel they are calling our name, you got that chocolate chip cookie over there, and for me it's going, Lisa, Lisa, you know, and you know, it might be calling your name too, but whatever it is, we, we, we have to do what we can do to do our best to shut the outside influences off and or come to be able to consciously recognize them because there's a lot of our habits we have that are more unconscious and they say it takes 30 days to break a habit. I think it's more like 60, sometimes 90, depending upon what the habit could be, honestly. Um, but like I said, I paid for it. My stomach was bothering me, so I took the probiotics before I went to bed because otherwise I knew I would be up all night long. So we know where we're supposed to be. Were the cookies worth it? Was the apple pie and the ice cream worth it? No. I'm at 194 pounds. I want to get down to 135. So that's basically another 59 pounds that I'm looking to lose. And I'm not going to lose it if I keep grabbing for the cookies and the piece of pie and the ice cream and the little candy bars that are at the, you know, at your hairstylist, at your doctor's office, grabbing all the mints, whatever it is you have to do. It's a habit. We all have habits we need to break. So, um... My biggest issue is I don't know where that habit stems from. I'm not sure exactly what happened, what occurred to even put me into that kind of a stress eating process. So, you know, I'll just have to figure it out. I'll have to find out what it is. I'll have to make a, you know, have a new outlet. And again, that's where I'm, I'm asking for your help is to leave in the comments below different things that you do when you get stressed out. Different things you do when you're having a stressful day. You just, in, in a stressful day, it could be anything. It could be as simple as you got up late and you feel like you're an hour and a half behind or five hours behind when you only woke up 30 minutes late. But you have this appointment, that appointment. You got to do this. You got to do that. This is calling your name. You know, you, you, you've changed that appointment five times already. If you change it again, they won't let you make another one. What, whatever the case may be. I don't know. We all have our, our daily lives and our daily routines and our daily things we have to do. 
So please definitely share below the things that you guys do to help in your stressful days, things maybe you carry around in your purse, carry around in your car, things of that nature to help keep you on track. So, but again, I just want to be honest with you. I want to share with you. Yes, I still have my bad days. I still have stressful days. I still have things that keep me just totally off track. And once I get to the root of the issue, I will be able to better correct the issue. But again, that's me. That's my issue. I'm the one who's addicted to sugar. And I need to do my best to figure out why and get off and stay off. So, but again, this is just accountability and encouragement for one another. Hopefully you ladies are tagging along and following along and preferably, like I said, you've made the investment and uh, share below. Share me. What, what's your favorite recipe in the book? You know, what's your favorite part of the book? What, what chapter did you enjoy the most? What did you get the most information out of? And I will do my best to do the same for you. So again, just to encourage just to help you along the way. You're awesome. You're doing great. Yes, we have struggles, but we can do it and we can make it through. So until the next video, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful blessed day.